Indian rupee is in the race to take over the American dollar and more than 18 countries have agreed to use the rupee for international trade with India. After this, more than 35 countries have shown their interest to trade in Indian rupee. The global importance of the Indian rupee has risen in the last few years after India-Russia, India-UA and India-Singapore agreements on the trade deals in INR which has also led to the decrease of the use of dollars in international trade. But will this lead to India becoming a 5 trillion economy? And how will it impact the Indians all over the world? We'll answer that, but let's quickly take a look at the factors that are setting the stage for rupee to replace dollars. First, Ukraine-Russia war. After the Western sanctions removed Russia from the SWIFT network, dollar went out of question to be a currency for the trade. So Russia and India decided to start a trade in INR using the Nostro and Vostro accounts. Second, Middle East interest. India has been able to strike deals with UAE and Saudi Arabia for bilateral trades in rupee, which has been a great success for our ties. Third, alternative to dollar. Dollar, which used to hold more than 80% of the global trade market in 1990s, dropped to 59% in 2022. The government is reportedly looking to bring countries that are short of dollars into the mechanism. Recently, Mika Singh posted a video of him paying at a store in Qatar with Indian rupees. The proud moment is that right now I'm in Qatar, Doha, and our Indian money, Indian currency, mein, you can shop. Whatever you want to shop, you can buy Indian currency le sakte aur shop. Kar sakte. So, thanks to Modi ji. Salute to you. आज दुनिया का 46 परसेंट रियल टाइम डिजिटल ट्रांजैक्शन भारत में होता है। भारत का यूपीआई हो या फिर दूसरे डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स ये देश में बहुत बड़ा सोशल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लाए हैं। this is the next and the most important subject that Indian government has to focus upon. The acceptance of the Indian rupee worldwide. Whether you travel to China, Europe, Argentina or Cuba, dollar have an advantage of being accepted while shopping or renting hotels. Indian rupee has to reach the pockets of the foreign travelers and investors. So a revolution for the rupee has already been started by the present government to internationalize the rupee. But how did India start this revolution? by introducing the Vostro Nostro accounts. Vostro and Nostro accounts are the replacement for the SWIFT system. Vostro Nostro are the words that come from Latin word yours and ours. In Vostro and Nostro system, two banks set up accounts directly bypassing the involvement of any third-party banking system for the trade. This move is aimed to promote the growth and global trade with emphasis on exports from India, as well as pushing rupee as an international currency. Second. UPI involvement. From the Great Eiffel Tower, UPI, Unified Payment Interface, India's very own payment system was recently launched in France. According to IndiaBriefing.com, on February 13, 2023, Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said that India has signed a memoranda of understanding with 13 countries that want to adopt UPI interface for digital payments. This will gradually help travelers to pay using UPI without the hassle of currency exchange. Countries with which India has signed the MOUs are Singapore, Nepal, Bahrain, Bhutan, UK, Oman, France, UAE, Malaysia and others. Next is Rupee Cards. India's homegrown Rupee Card is set to compete with the global card networks such as Visa and Mastercard. Launched in 2014, Rupee Cards are issued by more than 1100 banks including the state-owned banks, private banks, regional rural and cooperative banks as per its website. There are about 672 million rupee debit cards and Bhutan, Singapore, UAE and Nepal have already operationalized rupee cards. But more needs to be done for the rupee cards at international standards. After the efforts of the RBI, rupee has almost become like a reserve currency for South Asia. For example, it is also being used at some places where there's no involvement of India. Like Sri Lanka has decided to use rupee in oil trade with Iran. So it might as well replace dollar with rupee in petrodollar trade. But this is nothing new for India. Do you know that in 1960s, India was also called the Central Bank of the East because of the influence of Indian rupee in the Middle East and the South Asia. 
and now the government is swiftly trying to bring that era back. As right now also, people in Sri Lanka and UAE have been posting their videos after paying in Indian rupees in the foreign countries. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank you. Who will it impact directly? Everyone. From small businesses to big industries, from traders to buyers. Acceptance of the Indian rupee will ease the transfer process, boost the ease of doing businesses, bring stability in balance and payment by overcoming the fluctuations in the international trade. It will boost the Indian production overall. Total rupee dominance is surely going to take a huge time. But there's another problem that India is facing right now which is also related to international trade and that will also be of a major concern. Recently, Russia-India has been facing issues with rupee as a medium of exchange for trade because of the trade deficit. See, trade takes place when there is an import and export from both sides. But right now, Indian side is importing more than its exports to Russia, which has led to a trade deficit, which has also led to the increase in the rupee denomination in India. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov highlighted this issue in the Shanghai Cooperation Summit in Goa this year. It might take some time for the Indian currency to top the charts, but clearly the stage is set for the Indian rupee to replace the dollar in the coming years. And it is not very far when the Bharatwarsh will see the use of Indian rupee in the most part of the world.